Hey guys, how you guys all doing? This is your boy Dino aka the LP here and welcome back to another video to my channel. Another video of me reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen guys. Yes, once again it's gonna be another double reaction, episode 13 and episode 14. Episode 14 being the latest episode. Um unfortunately just due to my work schedule it's hard for me to react to it every single week because my weekends um, my days off on the weekends is not every weekend it's going to be it's every other weekend if you get what i mean um unless during a day when Jujutsu Kaisen does get released uh and i get my day off on that same day or the next day then i'll do it then if not then it has to be in this sort of uh, formula where I do a double reaction every two weeks that way I get last week's video uh, last week's episode done and this week's episode done if you get what I mean um I'm sure because I'm recording this on Thursday 2nd of November by the time I'll get this video posted out the next episode of Jujutsu Kaisen will get probably will get <laughs> posted um if it does I'll see if I can try to get that done in a separate video um <laughs> By the way, with how episode 12, 11 and 12 went, I am expecting some solid stuff from this show. This show, the Shibuya arc has definitely been something that's um, that's lived up to the hype, if you get what I mean. Because ever since the... To be honest, if I want to be honest, I would say ever since... Ever since the first season of Jujutsu Kaisen ended, really... Uh, the Shibuya arc has the Shibuya arc hype has been, um, well hyped up a lot. The Shibuya arc uh, being animated has been hyped up so much for such a long time, and now that we get to see it in the flesh, of uh, the season, uh, it's been fantastic so far. It's definitely been holding its hype so far. So if you are wondering, um, I feel kind of sick. If you, <laughs> I feel like it's a normal cold slash flu sort of thing. So do forgive me for it. My body feels like shit, so I'm not gonna lie. I went to the gym to do legs today, but my whole body is just aching. I don't know if it's the sudden change of weather and people are saying that they're feeling sick um, the past few days, so I don't know if I've caught it. I don't know, it's hard for me to tell, but I'm glad that I've got today or tomorrow off, so it gives me some time to actually rest and recuperate before I start going to work back on Saturday onwards, because I'll be working after Friday, I'll be working Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So six days before I get four days off. I'm, normally, I on these four days off, I try to stay home, stay in my place, get things done. But unfortunately, due to some personal reasons, I need to go back home. Uh, I think I mentioned it in my update video, what it's about, so you can go ahead and check it out there. Um, but yeah, um, I went off a bit off tangent there, forgive me. Uh, like I said, um, Let's check out these episodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into episode 13, guys. Uh, the first episode of the double reaction. If you guys want to go ahead and grab something to eat or drink, that's totally fine. You can go ahead and pause the video. If not, that's fine. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and jump into this reaction, guys. I am excited. I am very, very excited. It's Jujutsu Kaisen after is one of my favorite animes in recent times. So um, just full of amazing moments. So we'll see how it goes. Let me, let me actually grab some tissue. <laughs> if you guys excuse me. Okay, I've got myself a cup of tea as well, just to warm myself under and probably after this recording what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some medicine um, because I don't, want to, I don't want to feel too shit when I go into work on Saturday. Okay, um, you guys know how this works, the time is a time of reaction, time of war pair, however you see the subtitles on the bottom here, just you know in a transparent manner so you get to see that but not anything. You won't see any more of the video and you won't be able to hear any audio from that uh from this episode as well so yeah go ahead and um get it synced up um uh, you can pause the video to get that done so recording's fine volume's at 55 you're only gonna hear my voice anyway so it's fine um whew, okay all right let's get to it i've already um what do i say uh, had it uh, prepared in advance, if you get what I mean. Um, okay, let's get to it, shall we? Right, let's go. Uh, wait, I'm 
paranoid again. <laughs> Still recording, it's fine. All right, let's get to this in three, two, one, go. First episode of the Double Reaction, episode 13. Let's go. It's like, it's like Yuji, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. We're well, starting off a little violent, I see. Yeah, that's the that's the shittest part. You don't have time to help everyone. No, in a monkey. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. How the fuck did the Yuji just moved right now? Destroy. <laughs> don't move. Oh, that's so good. Using that sort of massive loudspeaker to ampl amplify your voice to a wider area range is pretty good. Um, Inomaki is actually busted as fuck. However, he does have a great weakness. Every time he uses it, it still gets fucked in the process. His voice just gets fucked in the process. He needs to use those sprays so that his throat doesn't get strained as much. Because every time he uses something that requires a lot of energy, not energy, but depending on what he says, um, like destroy or amplify or explode and like that, depending on what word he does, uh, says, I think it puts more strain to the throat or is it just strain to the throat in general? I don't know. When he says don't move, I don't think it's going to put as much strain for you. Know what I mean, I might be wrong with that sort of statement and it just could be his throat just gets strained either way just because of his curse technique. You get what I mean? But in theory, his technique is just fucking busted. It really is. Shit, my whole arm is aching. I do feel like I'm just a tiny bit sick. I can't tell. It's really hard to tell. Okay. Shibuya states in interior, 10 plus 10. Do not rush is dangerous. <laughs> I like what they've done there. That's pretty cool. A bit of foreshadowing there. Of course, it's one of Ghetto's people. Oh wow. Uh oh. It's not gonna end well, is it? Oh shit. <gasps> oh boy. Oh shit. Yep, it wasn't gonna end well. I knew it straight away. Convergence. Exceeds the speed of sound. Piercing blood. Are you kidding me? The speed of sound. That is fucking stupid. Oh, okay. Okay, it's convergent. Divergent fist. Fucking it, it pierced through this arm like nothing, bro. Holy shit. So it's... Bro, that's insane penetration. With that technique. <laughs> Who's your brother? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he actually remembers. Uh oh, I don't think that was meant to be said. Oh god, that just made him even more mad. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> On each on. What the hell? Oh god, that just looks crazy. Yeah, it's good that it did Yuji stopped it. Yeah, nice thinking, bro. That was smart of Yuji to do. God. Oh my god. <laughs> the blood manipulation's crazy. And he's able to absorb it back as well. That is that's the craziest part. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he's actually quite good at close combat. He's actually really good at close combat. And he can do long range attacks as well, piercing blood. Piercing blood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen there. Hmm. <laughs> You're done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is too, too much suspense, mate. Damn! 50% chance to dodge, you know? <laughs> oh. But uh, I'm sure he knows that. Supernova. Oh, that's crazy. Right on his leg. Oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. He really is laying the pressure on Yuji. He's taking out his strengths one by one. Like, his physical power, he, like, he's physically, like, insane. Yuji, and he's just taking it out like crazy. His arm and then his leg. <laughs> it wasn't compressed enough. Bro, you put a hole through his body, mate. <laughs> it wasn't compressed enough. <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> Hereditary techniques. Clan's technique. Piercing blood, blood blade. <laughs> Close, mid, and long range. Yeah, those long range attacks are ridiculous. Ten percent chance. Ten percent chance to work. Damn.
Is he breaking through the wall? Make a model. <laughs> uh oh. Uh. Wait, well, got him. <laughs> well, come on, that was come on, that was probably one of the easiest tricks in the book to try to rile you up, and he then you fell for it. <laughs> wow. Black Flash? Was that Black Flash or was that Divergent Fist? I couldn't tell. <laughs> it's a, it was a mix of blue and black colour. I couldn't tell. <laughs> it's a colour of the water around him. So water, it's the water around it that made it dissolve. Oh wow, that's crazy. Forty five percent. Yeah, yo, that's a good plan. <laughs> Make a more bro. Oh, your thoughts. Ah, oh, this is a bad place for him for to fight. Oh, wow. I've dragged him into my turf. Okay, so it's a more level playing field if you get one. How is he still moving with that feet? Stabbed. How is he still moving properly? Yeah, it's a more of a it's a more even playing field now between the two. Dame. I like the fight, sir. It's good. <laughs> oh, wow. He's really good close combat. He's really good. To be keeping up with Yuji, who's an absolute beast in close combat. <laughs> he bit his hand. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, that was a nasty kick. It pierced his liver. Blood meteorite. Oh, this guy's. He's crazy. He's crazy, bro. This guy is not. He's he's no joke. Oh wow, he's ready to die, Yuji. 
I mean, Yuji's always been like that, though. He, you know, he's... It's hardness. It doesn't have the speed. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. What? This guy is crazy. Those those punches those punches are gonna be harder. Oh, here comes the final final confrontation. This feels like the final fight here, the final round, really. Oh, this is good. I love this. I love this. He's strong. He's no joke. <laughs> oh, one of his arms is fucked, isn't it? Yuji's arm. So he has to use one arm. Got him. He blocked it. Yo, this is an insane fight. This is an insane fight. <laughs> oh, this fight is insane. <sighs> nice. It dissolved. This is a crazy fight. <sighs> oh. Damn, he really... As much as it hurts me to say, he's been dominating Yuji from the get-go, really. Oh, wow. Did he get him? I can't tell. Oh my God. He hardened, fuck off. He hardened his ribs. You fucking prick. Oh, he's too good though. He is a, oh my god, he was lethal. He had Yuji overwhelmed from the get-go. No way. He's insane. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was that rage. Knowing that it did a Yuji killed his brothers, right? So that could, yeah, that could have played... That could have played a vital part in him overwhelming him. <laughs> Sukuna, no! Oh my god, Sukuna? Oh my god, Sukuna, that's Sukuna! Wait, what? Did he dodge? What just happened? Wait, what just happened? What just happened? I... Huh? What just happened? 
which is so secular, what the hell? Chozo. Memory, wait, memories that didn't exist. So the, his name is Chozo. I need to keep that in mind. Chozo was a ridiculous opponent for. It is a U G. Is this is a VHS style. It looks like a VHS style. I can't tell. What the heck? Who the heck is that? <laughs> what? Huh? What? It there's Itutori Yuji there with Chozo and the brothers. Well, I mean, they she the writer did say it's memories that didn't exist. YouTube, bro, what are these memories? It doesn't even exist. So why is it flooding him? the fuck? I was convinced- oh my god. Like even, even Sukuno, when he was about to close his eyes, he was just like, uh, what happened? Are they gonna end the episode like this? <sighs> what a cliffhanger, bro. What the fuck was that about? All of a sudden, he just got flooded with memories that don't exist of it today yuji calling him brother okay cool <laughs> that fight that was an insane fight chozo versus yuji yeah i'm telling you that was an insane fight but unfortunately it felt like chozo was too much and chozo chozo was too much for yuji in my personal opinion because it today yuji is a he's the, he doesn't exactly have any any techniques that are considered mid or long range attacks, he always has to get close to a hand to hand combat, a close range fight. That's why he excels the most. Even his cursed techniques are all close range attacks. So, for someone like Chozo, who's able to use his blood manipulation of not just close range attacks, you know, covering his hand and his ribs for protection, but also doing it in a form of uh, piercing blood and all of that stuff which is considered long range attacks which exceeds the speed of sound he's ridiculous he's covered all of his range basically uh that makes him a very dangerous opponent <laughs> and he, on top of that because it's considered a hereditary technique from a clan uh the, even mecha Mal does another weakness to it so but we found out the weakness was that in wartime it just dissolved but even then he just he had no issues dealing with it Two school girls? High school girls? There he is, talking about Yuji. Let's get this started. Um, started what? Where the. <laughs> Men on this day. <laughs> it's Kuzukagi, isn't it? Kuzukagi. Um, okay, that was an interesting end. I don't know what's, what happened there. I'll be honest. And who are those two girls? I don't recognize them either. Probably someone from the academy. I, I'm assuming the Jujutsu High Academy from a different branch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, interesting. It's very interesting. That's for sure. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the next episode guys let's not waste too much time talking about this um if you guys want to go ahead and grab something to eat or drink take a little break before coming back that's totally fine go ahead if not uh that's also fine i'm just gonna jump ahead right into the next episode guys let's get to it shall we uh everything is still on intact it's still recording so that's good uh, i already had episode 14 set up as well with episode 13 it helps me so much anywho let's get right to it in three Two, one.
ちゃう How is that? That's a muscle. This reminds Why is there a boulder like? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That woman got stuck into the boulder, did she? Or get crushed by it? <laughs> of course, she breaks through it. Like, no man's business. It looked like the boulder from Demon's Slayer, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that Tonjo slices at the start. So cramped. Oh, the coffin. Okay. <laughs> Okay. She. Bury me under a gravestone. Why? What happens after three? Okay. <laughs> oh. And she came out in three seconds like that. She's not exactly a joke then, is she? Yo, she's not exactly faced by it. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, her fingers are fucked. Okay. So it's not like she came out with no damage. Interesting. <laughs> wow. Wow, just like that, Crow just died. No way you're doing that. <laughs> no way she gonna do that. That's fucked. He's gonna say yes without a doubt, isn't he? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's a fucking child. He's a child, mate. <laughs> he doesn't seem faced though. He seems pretty happy dying for her. <laughs> So she, oh my lord. Uh oh. Okay. So he won't see her coming. He won't see her coming. That curse, that curse won't see the woman coming. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Your fault. <laughs> that smile was everything, bro. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Simple domain. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> I mean, she's not a special grade. She's a special grade, right? If I'm not mistaken. Or either first grade or special grade. Jujutsu Sosua. Yeah. That was a crow? Crow? Yeah, once he made his attention to her, he didn't see the infused. <laughs> Bro, he is. Blackbird manipulation. Kamikaze, <laughs> but strike.
Well, of course, of course, Gojo. <laughs> that laugh is everything. Wow, so nobody can stop it except Gojo, huh? I mean, it, it seems kind of like a piercing attack. She's got... Okay, she... Oh, hey, hey. Ghetto. Ghetto versus... Okay. She's gonna go up against Ghetto now. I didn't expect her of all people to go off a Ghetto. Don't know why. Why? I don't know. I just didn't expect it. But she is good. <laughs> she is good. Yeah, it's, it's it's the moment she suppressed her cursed energy, I knew um, she was gonna lay low and strike it. Strike the curse when... He doesn't even expect her because she, she's supposed to curse energy. Okay, she's good. She's good. That that weapon she's holding, she's wielding it with ease, if you think about it. She's wielding it with such ease. Um, I don't know if she's using curse energy to wield it or whether she's just physically that strong to wield it. But she does, she is a pretty big build. <laughs> Not in the way some. That you guys are thinking, but you get what I mean. <laughs> it's just <it's> strong. <laughs> yeah, she should look at her. <laughs> I'm like I'm liking how they are really um putting all sorts of characters into the um into the light into the highlight of uh, an episode. Uh, into the you know, into what do I say? to the focus of the episode. Like, it's not like just UG and his teammates. It's a mixture of people. They're showing, they're showcasing them, which is pretty cool. First grade Jujutsu Sorcerer. Okay, so that woman must be first grade as well. <laughs> oh my god. You're fucking unprofessional. <laughs> fucking unprofessional, yo. I gotta see what his technique is though, his cursed technique. He should, he, he should be pretty good. Oh, Marky best girl, by the way. Marky best girl in the series. I don't care. <laughs> Marky's a badass. <clears throat> okay. What the fuck? <clears throat> Get out! When did he do that? Wait, how did- when did he get him? Oh, this is- yeah, I was trying to say there's no way. How did he get- Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty good. Uh. I was gonna say, that's all the people he's eaten. That's the, all the people the curse eaten. Maito? That's the cursor's name. Who is that? Who is this? Who is that? Uh... Wow, just a whipped out water like nothing.
Okay, not bad. One second on animation how many frames there are. Okay. <laughs> okay, what is he on about this? What is the old dude on about? Oh wow, that was fast. Oh wow. <laughs> Woo. What the hell? Why wow, he still blocked it despite being trapped in that glass. This curse is Decently strong. It's handling Nanami, Marky, and that old man's attack. Endless HP. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so he's. Okay, he specialized with water, it seems. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, he must be good. This curse is strong. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I mean, I know why she's ashamed, but at the same time, don't be too hard on yourself. Oh, damn. Yo, this old dude is something else. You actually got him? <laughs> Yo, the old dude is... The old man's fast, man. He can't activate his technique because of him. Interesting. Faster than Jugo? What the hell? <laughs> Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> what? That's why he was on about frames per second and FPS or none of that shit. Okay, that's a sick technique. No wonder he was so fast. <laughs> Fuck off. After... After Sato, he's the second fastest sorcerer. He is the second fastest sorcerer. Oh wow, he got him. Oh wow, he actually got him. He's the second fastest sorcerer behind Gojo. <laughs> 
That's definitely an achievement right there, mate. <laughs> yeah, his technique is actually quite unique and insane. <laughs> insane, nonetheless, but unique. But it seems like the curse has got him. <laughs> domain expansion, of course. The fuck is this domain expansion, though? It's guaranteed to hit. They didn't even exist. Exist. <laughs> Why is this old man busted? Oh, wow. The old dude is ridiculous. He's he's on he's on another level. Why is this curse ridiculously smart? He, these curses are getting more and more ridiculous with their IQ. <gasps> wow. <clears throat> Dang. Oh my god. Okay, Mark. Oh, Octo bitch. <laughs> Octo bitch. Huh? What's what's Mega Me doing here? Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Oh my god, that's crazy to infiltrate a domain like that. <laughs> Damn, Marky, the guaranteed hit effect of my domain's gone. <laughs> his domain expansion. <laughs> That's probably why his attacks are not guaranteed to hit. No bad, Mega Me. No bad. <laughs> no bad. Oh, wow, none of me. Okay. <clears throat> Yo. <laughs> Bro, none of me is a beast. I mean, it's the only way it stops the Octopus's domain expansion to not activate. Oh boy.
time. 71 is. 70. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Because the domain is an ex. You know, it doesn't guarantee his KO's uh, hits now. The Octopus's um, domain expansion. Oh, she's he's reaching his limit though. Okay. Oh, wow. Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> These fights has been incredible. Yep, he realized what's going on. <laughs> Damn. Damn, he knew it straight away. <laughs> that octopus is way too smart. Is it the clap? <laughs> I know who it is. Oh no, okay, it's not who I expected, okay. Oh boy. Okay. Right. Okay, that is not who I expected. Do you know who I expected it was gonna be the um special grade user? Um the one who fights with um who joins who teams up with um Yuji in the first season to fight Hanami, the guy who changes position when he claps. Um fuck, I forgot his name bro. Um I thought it was him, just just the way he positioned his hands. I thought it was, he was just gonna clap. I was gonna be like, it's him. Uh, but no, it's uh, Megami's father. <sighs> Megami's father. Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting episode, isn't it? <laughs> next week's, uh, or oh, the next episode's gonna be very interesting, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let's see how this next preview is gonna go. It's been, it's, these two episodes were really good. Like, the fights were insane. Like, absolutely insane. It, it goes to showcase other sorcerers' techniques and whatnot, and it actually dives um, a little bit into what their curse techniques are willing to or are able to do. You get to learn a lot more about the characters that you don't get much, you don't get that doesn't get much screen time. But in this Shibuya arc, it seems like a lot of um, the sorcerers, especially the first grade sorcerers, like the, the experts of the uh, organization, uh, we get to see their techniques. It's actually really fun to see. We also get to see why they're so strong, you know. <laughs> okay, interesting, interesting indeed. Um <clears throat> Well, that was the double reaction of Jujutsu Kaisen, guys, season two. Uh, that was a really good episode, bro. The, those two episodes were really, really good. Um, let me know what you guys think on the conversation below. Those two were really good. Episode 15, I can only imagine. So I'm assuming this is scheduled for like 24 episodes, I'm assuming. Um, so we've got about 10 episodes left. 10, 10 episodes of hype. Um, I'm loving it so far. Loving the show so far. We'll see how it goes. Um, so on that note, and then the reaction right here, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to me reacting to episode 13 and 14 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash the like button, comment, share, those good things. Let's see more content of me doing more um, Jujutsu Kaisen videos like this in the future. However, if you guys have any to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Join the DRP Guild today so it's a single video for my channel. Those reactions to Jujutsu Kaisen, reactions to uh, Holly Live, any other reaction videos, we got to see you get to see on the channel. So be sure to come in, subscribe, and most importantly, have fun and join the journey with me. So, as always, guys, this is your boy Dina signing out. 
have a nice day, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, peace.